one of the biggest events in the crypto world is ICO. We are saying what is ICO? Well, ICO is the abbreviation for initial coin offering. This is not a crypto token or coin, but one of the processes by which a coin is being launched. Several crypto projects like Ethereum, Cardano, and so on add their ICO before becoming a giant in the industry. So on this note, we welcome you to the Financial Markets Examiner YouTube channel, where you learn about Forex, cryptocurrency, and the stock markets. On this channel today, We'll learn about initial coin and how it works. What is initial coin offering? An initial coin offering, also known as an initial currency offering, is a form of funding using cryptocurrencies. It's a popular way to raise funds for products and services usually related to cryptocurrency. A company seeking to raise money to create a new coin, app, or service can launch an ICO as a way to raise funds. Investors or speculators buy these tokens or coins in exchange for flat currencies or other generally accepted or stablecoin assets. A company seeking to raise money to create a new coin, app, or service can launch an ICO as a way to raise funds. Investors or speculators buy these tokens or coins in exchange for flat currency or other generally accepted or stable crypto assets. The token coins are promoted as future functional units of currency if or when the ICO's funding goal is met and the project successfully launches. The token in question may have some utility related to the product or service that the company is offering, or it may just represent a stake in the company or project. ICOs can allow startups to avoid regulations that prevent them from seeking investment directly from the public and intermediaries such as venture capitalists, banks, and stock exchanges. They may also fall outside the existing regulations. This may depend on the nature of the project or be banned altogether in some jurisdictions. How does it work? Initial coin offering may come after seed sales and private sales of some crypto project startups. The ICO process can then be structured in three different ways with its aims to raise funds for the project. A company can set a specific funding goal or limit. This means that each token sold in the ICO has a present price and the total token supply is fixed. In another way, an ICO can have a static supply of tokens and a dynamic funding goal. This means that the amount of funds received in the ICO determines the overall price per token. ICOs can also have a dynamic token supply but a static price, meaning that the amount of funding received determines the supply. The crypto project white paper is also created which gives the potential investors details about the projects. Here, investors can know what's in for them if they put their money into such a project. Investors can generally use legal tender or digital currency to buy new tokens. Bitcoins, Ethereum, and USDT are the most common form of cryptocurrency used. The ICO is not successful when the minimum amount required by the company is not met. So in this case, all the money raised may be returned to the project's investors. If the funding requirements are met within the specified period, then the money raised is spent in pursuit of the project's goal. It is deemed successful in this way. Things investors need to know before participating in initial coin offering. So I'd like to tell you some tips for investors who are looking for projects to invest in at the initial coin offering phase. One, you do your own research. If you are going to invest in cryptocurrency, it's very important to understand the industry. Do your own research on the token project and keep yourself abreast of the happening in the markets. And two, study the white paper. This way you can get to know more about the project. From the wise paper, you know what the project is about, the need that the project will fulfill upon completion, and how much money the project needs. You also need to know how many of the virtual tokens the founders will keep, what type of payments, which currencies will be accepted, and how long the ICO campaign will run. 3. Beware of scam. You have to beware of fake projects if you are investing in cryptocurrency. Frosters often try to take advantage of the numerous beginners who have yet to have full knowledge of the industry. They may lure you with a huge return on the investment, and this may come through emails or texts. 4. Check that ICO funds are stored in escrow wallets. This type of wallet requires multiple access keys, which provide useful protection against scams. You just have to do your homework on this to be assured that you are not raising funds for fraudsters. The risks associated with initial coin offering. As it is with most crypto endeavors, the stage of initial coin offering is not without risk. The main risk is that there are fake companies and projects out there. 
So due to the lack of regulation and enforcement of security laws, ICOs have been the vehicle for scams and fraud. In this case, someone might do whatever it takes to make you believe they have a legitimate ICO and then abscond with the money. Of all the possible avenues of funding, an ICO is probably one of the easiest to set up as a scam. Anyone can launch an ICO, which makes it an easy way to rob people of their hard-earned money if investors don't do their homework. Another risk associated with ICO is a bubble. Some investors are flooded into ICOs in the hopes of participating in financial gains of similar size to those enjoyed by early Bitcoin or Ethereum speculators. Initial coin offerings are a popular way to raise funds for products and services usually related to cryptocurrency. It's a win-win situation for the parties involved. For example, the company raising funds and investors. The project owners get funds to proceed to the next phase of their project, while investors make a profit after buying a token at a low price. Although it's a gamble for the investors, the project owners also wish ICOs are successful. The lack of regulation and security of ICOs make it an easier venue to scam people. If you must invest in a startup project, you must do your findings very well. I hope you have learned one or two things about initial coin offering in the crypto. If you've enjoyed this video, subscribe, like, and share to get more videos on this channel. And note that this video is not for financial advice, but for educational purposes only. Thanks for watching.